Good morning, happy Thursday. I hope you're all fine today. Have you got any snow where you are? Sadly, I do not have any snow where I am. Um, plan of action today is we're gonna do writing. It's Thursday, so we're gonna do some writing. And we're gonna use something called Story Cubes. So I'm actually gonna upload a separate video because I've done a wee video all about the Story Cubes and I'll upload that separately, okay? So you can watch that. So Story Cubes are basically dices. They're nine dices. And uh, when you roll them, each side of the dice has a picture on it. So when you roll it, you get a different combination of pictures and you have to use the pictures to make a story up. Now your imagination can run wild. The story is yours, it is yours to make up. The pictures on the dices, they can be anything you want them to be. And um, you don't have to use them in order. So you don't have to go like, that's the first dice, the second dice, the third dice. You can use them in any order you want um, and just have fun with it. Okay, there's no such thing as a bad story. Now, I did make a story up, and you will hear my story in the video. Definitely not the best story I've ever made up. But, as I keep saying, there is no such thing as a bad story, and at least I tried. <laughs> so, the first, most important thing to writing is, when you're making up an imaginative story, is to tell your story out loud, okay? So, make your story up in your head, and then tell it out loud to an adult, brother, sister, teddy, just get your story out there. Use your words, okay? And then you can start writing. I've made, um, I've given a guideline for how much writing I would like each group to do. So primary one, I want you to tell your story and then an adult will write it for you. And then you can write underneath. You might want to have a go at some of the words that you can maybe sound out or some of your spelling words that you know. But um, mostly you'll just be writing underneath an adult's writing and then drawing your picture. Ursula, Scar, Scar and Maleficent, you are all going to be doing pictures as well. I definitely want to see the picture to go with your story. Ursula, I want you to do at least two sentences. Scar, at least four sentences. And Maleficent, at least six sentences. Okay, you can do more if you want, but I want at least that. Remember your capital letters, full stops. Okay, that's what makes a sentence a sentence. Make sure you use them. Okay. But listen to the video, uh, the Story Cube video, and it'll give you um, some ideas on what to do. And I can't wait to see how you go on. I really, really can't wait. Um, once you've done your writing, you can play with the phonics, okay? Play your phonics game, because you'll be tired after doing all that writing, because writing is not easy, but it is always good fun. Maths, we've got um, problem solving today so you're all going to have word problems so a word problem is basically a sentence and it gives you a math sum and you have to try and work it out so it might be um mrs rooney had four pencils and mrs g found six pencils how many pencils did they have all together and then you'd work out the sum so the sum would be four pencils add six pencils and that would equal ten so you've all got um your own sums. I will post it on Seesaw. I'll put it on Seesaw and then you can work out the answers to the word problems and then send me in your answers, okay? Work them out on a separate paper and then send it to me, okay? Good luck. You might need someone to help you read the, read the problems, but I'm sure you'll all be able to work them out, okay? Some are easier than others. There's addition and there's subtraction. So have a go, send me your workings and let me know how you get on. Then your final task today is health. And we're going to be looking at how to look after ourselves. So how do you look after you? How do you keep your body, your mind, your heart fit and healthy? Okay, so there is a wee PowerPoint. So watch the PowerPoint. And then um, there's a short video, very short video. So watch the PowerPoint, short video. And then I want you to design a poster. So make me a poster. Um, telling people how to look after themselves, how to keep your body, minds and hearts happy and healthy, okay, fit and healthy. Remember a poster has a title, words and pictures. Make sure your poster has all three things. Make them eye-catching, they stand out, you want to draw attention to your poster and include details on how to look after yourself. And then there's this wee uh, you probably know about this guy, I did not. His name is Dr. Ranj, and he, I think, is maybe on CBeebies. And he's a doctor, and he has a TV show about keeping healthy. And there's an episode called How to Stay Happy and Healthy, and I've put the link on. It's about half an hour, so it's quite long, and you might want to watch that. 
okay, if you've got time. But wow, oh, you've got a busy day ahead. So good luck with your writing, good luck with your maths problems, and I look forward to seeing how you get on. Okay, bye.